We're kicking off our 2020 heavy duty truck season in a big way with a 2020 Silverado with a gas V8. Yes, that's 6.6. .6. We are really maxing it out. Maximum payload, maximum trader, maximum altitude. It's a real good test. It's like a super Rike. And in this video, we're going to see how this gas V8 compares to the Duramax diesel. Stay tuned. The iGauntlet is the world's toughest towing test because of several things. Number one, it's maximum elevation. We're going to over 11,000 feet above sea level. It's a 7% grade, an 8 mile stretch of highway. We're measuring the downhill performance as well as the uphill performance. This is the first time this engine has been put into this heavy duty truck. Yes, this is cool. This is the first run with a big full load. Your capacity. Okay, I'm going at 50, I'm coming out, I'm letting off. Moving over. And tow hole mode is enabled. Yep. This is a 6.6 gas V8, not diesel. Right, it's a push rod, direct push injection. Push rod. It's old school. It's old school, it has no cylinder deactivation, nothing fancy. No, dude, all we're gonna rely on is brakes and tow hole. There you go, 61, you have to hit the brake. Okay, and it's a six speed. So, we're gonna have higher RPMs on this than the 10 speed would be. There we go, 50. Now, what's your gain set at? I think we had it set at seven and a half. That's about the same as the Duramax that we did yeah. with the same trailer. Right, right, I think these brakes are burnished on the trailer, we're okay. We've got our test trailer here from TransWest, our friends at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. This is a North Star Cimarron with living quarters. It's like 40 feet long. It's 32 foot on the floor, eight foot neck. It also has, a, it's a four horse slant. But this is a big, heavy trailer. We've got it loaded up to 16,000 pounds with the water totes and barrels in the back. So the biggest difference between a diesel and a gas truck, obviously it's turbocharging, right? Yes. And the diesel has an exhaust brake. Right, and this just uses the tow haul mode, the upshift. Uh, we're going up to 4,500, 4,600 RPM. So finally it's starting to work for us, huh? Yeah, we finally got a one or two shift in there. And I'm trying to watch that thing move so fast. This has been a little bit of a, of a, a tough drive. I'm not smooth, smooth roads, you wouldn't notice so much difference, but on the bouncy roads, where I think we're hitting the jug, the bump stops on this puppy, 60. Is this number three? Yep, number three. At the Fastlane truck, we always do real world testing. And this test is all about comparing the new gas V8 engine combination in this truck versus the Duramax 10 speed Allison combination. And on the way downhill, I knew the gas engine would perform a little bit worse than the diesel because there is no exhaust brake here, obviously. I just didn't know exactly how much worse it's gonna be in terms of brake applications. Well, we have nine brake applications. We're almost getting to the end, but uh, this is similar performance to a half-ton truck with a gas engine That's on the way down. And we're holding now about 5,000 RPM. If it would just hold it there. Come on, hold, hold, <laughs> hold, hold. It's very close. Oh, 50, now we got one more. Hold on, just wait for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> oh, it's close. Only when it goes over uh, 60. Now you want me to go over 60? There it 61. goes. 61. 10 brake applications. shipped it there, yeah. Ugh. Okay, well, I think I kind of expected this result. I did too, I mean, I don't know if a bigger engine would have helped. I don't know if a 10 speed, because this holds a whole lot higher RPM. 10 speed would have been less RPMs, but it would have shifted more. I think yeah. we had more great shifts, which I kind of like the idea of. This is a brand new engine. The old six liter Vortec is no more. And the rating on it is 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. It improved a lot from that old six liter. That's true, Sales has the same six speed, almost the same, they've improved it somewhat, but that's been a really dependable transmission for GM. And this engine is kind of related to the fifth generation LT1 Corvette small block, you know, push rod gas engines. Is this gonna be the Corvette of heavy duties? Okay, yeah, maybe it will, no. we don't know. No, this engine is built for commercial use, right? That's true, that's true. The gearing's different, 373 axle. It's made for, you know, towing. 
Hammer down. Hammer down. Is All it hammer way. down? My hammer is down. Wait a Wide minute. open throttle. But it didn't downshift. Well, I don't see. I don't know what gear it is in yeah, that going manual. I have no idea. We have something going on on the right. I we need to get that. in the left lane if we can. Yes, we can. Oh, a smoke up there. They have barbecue. What are they doing? We're going 60. We're almost there. So now I'm going 61. I'm going to try to. It's so hard to be accurate on this without cruise control. I would say just plunge your foot and let the truck just do its thing because we're losing a lot of air density, right? About 30% less. But I want to be fair to the rest of the world. So well, I'm, we're always fair. I, I'm hammer. I am wide open throttle and I'm right under 60, just a hair. We're basically maxed out on payload with this tongue weight and squat it on both sides if you average it out it's about 38 and a half inches it started at 42 and a quarter so we have three and three quarters inches of squat almost four inches but let me show you underneath because we still have a little bit of space between the bump stop so you see with the truck standing still there's a little bit of space maybe a three quarter of an inch to the bump stop here but when you're hitting potholes i think it's making contact making the ride a little bit rougher but we're maxed out on payload here which is around 3600 pounds and when i say maxed out it's with both of us in the truck also of course eight minutes is the benchmark run the big diesel with the same weight same trailer did the yeah. run in eight minutes and 24 seconds yeah yeah that's do you think we can come close yeah. we're gonna be slow 16,000 pounds it's giving her all she's got captain it's all right let's do a sound got. check i've got a new sound probe a new dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. That's right about 70 decibels, so it's not too loud. No, that's, that's about 5,000 RPM most of that run, so you yeah. got as loud as this truck can get. So anywhere around 70 decibels is actually a pretty decently quiet truck. Yes. For 2020, the gold hitch comparison for heavy duty trucks, we're gonna be using three quarter tons with gas engines. So coming up later in the year, we're also gonna test the 2020 Ford Super Duty with a big 7.3 liter V8. And of course, also the Ram heavy duty truck with a big Hemi. Stay tuned for those videos coming a little later. By the way, this truck has a longer wheelbase now, right? Well, the whole thing's longer. The cab's almost four yeah. inches longer. The bed's four inches longer. The thing is taller. Yeah. It's just an overall bigger truck. I mean, you know, six, six foot ten bed, that's a long bed for a short bed. And also, uh, the wheelbase is stretched about five inches or a little bit more. So it's supposed to be more stable. But this gas engine doesn't weigh as much as a diesel, right? Right. So I think their nose is up a little bit. Well, you know, we talk about where the ball is on this, and yeah. it's two inches behind the axle makes it about five inches where they used to be and that's the problem with that ball placement i don't know that it's good or bad but on the diesel you had that extra diesel weight on the front it feels like porpoise action it's actually lifting but it only does it on rough road if you're on the normal good great road it feels fine it feels a lot like the diesel but rough roads really make this thing move yeah and we actually have a camera under, under the truck so we can show you some of the suspension movement hopefully hopefully yeah, you won't lose yeah. the camera <laughs> Now, General Motors, Chevy, they have gone so far into making these trucks really easy to use with traders. Instead of looking through the website for all kinds of numbers, you just look at the door sticker. I love this. You can get up here and you can get your gross vehicle weight rating, your gross combined weight rating, your curb weight, your maximum payload, then it drops right into the traders. And you got 10% on conventional trader, 15% on gooseneck. All those numbers you need to know to be safe trailering then they put them in the door sticker. That is wonderful. They all should do that. I love that. Now this does have a hood scoop by top of the hood, but there's nothing that comes inside. There's no nipple. So we know it's not functional. But anyway, this truck, I love the grill. I mean, of course I like the high country the most, but we have this monochromatic piece that goes across. It says Chevrolet. I think that's a good look. This is my second favorite after the high country. But you know, we got a really cool coordinated color here. We got gray and black and beautiful wheels. I like the way this thing looks. I'm even getting used to the mirrors, and these are power extended. Well, these aren't power extended because of this model, but you can get them ex power extended. These will power fold, but it's got quite the look. It's even got the big lights on top, the clearance lights, so I'm almost like a big rig. So you're still full throttle, right? Full throttle, about 43 miles an hour. Oh, boy. 4,000 RPM. 
So Sorry. at this elevation on the eye gauntlet, we're like I said, we're losing about 32% air density, which means we can the engine is struggling, it cannot make its full power. That's true, and that fake scoop's not giving us any extra air. No. Okay, so uh, wow, the elevation is really biting. Yeah, we're 38 miles an hour now, and we're getting close to 3,000 RPM. Oof. We're not going to break any records with speed. Oof, this but is think tough. again, this is in the mountains. This is you know, going up to 11,000 yeah. feet. This is extreme. Seven percent grade with you know the gas engine at maximum load. This is the custom trim, which is kind of new thing they're doing for heavy duty trucks for 2020. And the final MSRP sticker price is just over 48,000. So it's a relatively affordable truck. It starts at around 40 grand for a crew cab four wheel drive. And this has a few options, including the gooseneck prep package, the side steps, and of course um, the 20 inch wheels, oh, which yeah. come in the custom. Oh, that's cool. So is this one bigger than a work truck? One yeah, it's like better? one step, one step okay. over the work truck. Still a little bit more affordable, and it's ten thousand dollars less than a Duramax equipped <laughs> truck. Well, you got to pay for that diesel, that's for sure. But everything is easy to reach. The brake controls where it should be on the right side for me. I can actually reach the trailer, and it's got. Uh, all the knobs that I need, the radios in good shape, and the steering wheel is straight in line, the seat's straight in line, everything to make it symmetrical is good. I like the way it all is. Now the tow haul mode being on this little knob is a little different, but that's what you do. You move that around instead of pushing on the button. The lights are in good place. So actually, it's, it's a very handy truck, and this has got the center console that actually lifts up into a seat, so I love this seat combination. I love to have six seats in a truck. There we go. We got the Oh, we got back. a downshift. We finally got it out of the 2,000 RPM, got her back up over 4,000. And now we're gaining speed, 30 miles an hour. We were running 25 miles an hour, which is really slow. All right, so right now we're at 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, when we tested other guest trucks in the past with heavier trailers, we were in the 10 minute range too. Yeah. yeah. So right now we're getting we're getting in that slower time limit. Well, I knew it was going to be a little bit slower going up the hill. We did the diesel before the Duramax and it did very well and we're used to that. But this six speed with this gas engine, I, I was surprised that it slowed down quite a bit. Sometimes we were down to 25 miles an hour. And I don't know to change that, maybe gear ratio of 410 instead of 373, I don't know. All right guys, we are almost at the top. Um, I'm gonna stop the clock when we cross our traffic light here. Um, you're still down, foot down, right? A wide open throttle. I haven't taken my foot off of it since very soon after we launched. So here we Yard go. 2.4 miles per gallon and 11 minutes and 53 seconds. Yep, 2.4 miles a gallon. 11 minutes and 53. 2.4. Well, that's the result that eight miles, eight with miles. a heavy, heavy trailer. Yep. For Gold Hedge Awards, we use a 100-point scale. 75 points are objective for the downhill and uphill portions, and 25 points for you and I each is a subjective score. And we judge squats, handling, interior comfort, mirrors, and technology so how does this truck stack up on your scale well technology it's not a technology truck if right. it was a loaded one it had more toys which I kind of like and that's what you're buying that for you're buying it for the simplicity and you know and the price so I, I don't downgrade it on, on that on electronics but I you know I think the interior was great I like that I like the way you can reach the controls the brake controller you know I ended up taking off I think one for the mirrors because the mirrors are good they're just not picking up glass not far enough reach for my you might like them a little bigger but that's what they are and then you know what really kills it is the squat it was almost four inches I mean that's I, mean, I know it's 16,000 pounds so I took off four points out of five for that I think that that affects your handling and that's another problem is the, the ride the yeah. handling and ride is when you're against bump stops every time you hit a pothole or every time you hit a rough spot you're actually hitting hard you feel it so what's your points I'm at 13 13 out of 25 out of 25 yeah my score is 15 points out of 25. I'm a little bit higher than you. Yeah. Uh, but I took off a couple points for the tall hood. I think just overall the design of the truck, it's kind of hard to see in the front. I like the interior, the mirrors are okay. Um, not the best mirrors out there as far as reach. Right. But I took a lot more points for, the, once again, the squad and handling like you mentioned. But I'm just a little bit higher than what you are. So total average is 14 points subjective for the objective side of the scoring system 
I had to update our scale because for 2020, the trucks are getting bigger, they can tow heavier weights. Yes. So we changed some of our benchmarks for the gold hitch judging. It's now a 10 minute benchmark for time and a four MPG benchmark. And given all those numbers, plus our subjective scores, the final score for this truck, this gas powered Chevy is 48 and a half points. Is that just for the heavy duties or is that all the trucks on the Ike? That's for heavy duty only. Okay. So those benchmarks and that calculation is for heavy duty trucks only. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world towing reviews. And where else can they go? Mr. Truck.com. Mr. Truck.com. Mr. Truck